Hello everyone, welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. We got ourselves a straight truck, a box truck here, a Scania at that, and I'll fire it up for you. Sounds pretty darn good, honestly. Was pretty impressed by that. Uh, but one thing that's really cool with this truck and trailer combo you'll see is that we can uh, actually load them ourselves with the forklift at the dock. And that's actually a really, really, really cool thing. Check out the interior on this thing. Not too shabby. Um, I'm going to make a left turn here. I'm still using the controller today instead of keyboard or a wheel. Um, and honestly, it's been really nice to have a casual trucking game um, compared to having to, you know, get everything set up on a full system like I usually do with uh, American Truck Sim and stuff like that. So entering the yard here, we're going to go ahead and just put our uh, hazard lights on our four ways we're gonna go over here and talk to them and i'll show you exactly how you load this thing so we want one with a trailer and this one pays out 7860 and i'm perfectly fine with that that's what we're gonna do select it and here we are we have to load everything just like this and i really like the physics of everything um it's really 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 cool and unique that is for certain this is something i've always wanted in a truck sim and watch this when you lift it up, look at the look at the physics there on the, the forklift. It actually raises correctly. And if you're wondering, yes, I used to drive forklifts back in the day. That's why I'm so excited about having this here in the game. Look at this. We can drive right on to the back of the straight truck here. And uh, I remember this part being a little scary. Turn the lights on here. Uh, being a little scary because sometimes if they didn't have these things chalked correctly, they would bounce all around you. Go, go back here and then we'll just kind of push it all the way to the wall. And I really kind of wish we could uh, go in, uh, you know, kind of first person, third person, whatever, and load that way. Let's go ahead and go back to our outside view. Uh, there it goes right there and straps in. Nice. Uh, it's three per uh, trailer. Well, you know, we have a straight truck, so don't have to worry about a trailer on the back of that. But uh, that is what we are doing here. So we'll go ahead and lift that up and we will load the rest of the truck. This is really, really cool. I really like this. It's been a ton of fun. And a lot of you enjoyed the last video. So I was like, you know what? I think we'll just go ahead and do another one. Again, just lift up the front there and just push it kind of about right here all the way up to the next one until it hits like that and drop it down. There we go. Just like that. Now, there's no left and right motion on the fork, sadly. That'd be kind of nice. And if there is, I haven't learned how to do it. We do have working blinkers and stuff on the forklift. That's kind of cool. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and load this guy up as well. This is just so cool. It's something I've always wanted in a trucking game is to be able to actually load the trailers yourself. And here you go. It can be done. They are proving that today. Back out a little bit here. Come on, buddy. There you go like that. And then lift it just slightly and push it forward till it hits the ooh, down. It's, it's almost too realistic, honestly. It's kind of bringing me back. There we go, bring it back like that, and then they're good to go. So that gets all cleared up, and then we have to load the other one now. So let's go ahead and get away from these pallets so we don't destroy these things, and we will load this next one. I don't know if you can load it any other way you want to, but let's try. I haven't tried it yet to load from the side. So that's what we're gonna do here with this one. Make sure we have enough fork underneath there. Can't say how many times I've seen people that were brand new to driving a forklift that would were always scared to bring the forks all the way underneath, you know, like that. And they'd like barely have them under there, and the back end was just like flying up in the air, and they're like, I can't steer it. It's like, well, the back of the forklift's in the air, dude. That's why you can't steer it. All right, drop it on down. Used to train people on a forklift too. That was always a lot of fun. I always try to make people just kind of enjoy it because you know it can be a it can be a very mundane thing to, to operate a forklift but if you have a lot of fun while doing it uh, it could be rewarding always take pride in your job you know let's go ahead like this and whoop, lift it on up and it's just got the physics man it really does and this is just I know it seems boring to some people but this is fun to me I, I always loved loading trucks all right this one's got the kind of can't it's kind of like sideways there so we'll drop it down there 
and normally I'd, I'd just lift it up and then move it over you know with the forks but you can't really do that there so let's push it like that there we go and they'll move it into place for us like that and one more and then we can uh get on out of here now i think the sun's going down so i'll probably change the time of day where it's during the daytime for us but uh yeah having a casual driving truck game is is what i've been wanting honestly just a you know it's a time waster something to do in the background of listening to music or something you know forward like that perfect back it on out cargo's in place Turn the lights off and there you go that's what i've learned to do is you got to be quick about it and then it looks like you know it's actually supposed to be there <laughs> start the engine here and we're gonna get our lights on and our four ways and we're gonna pick up this one here and honestly driving this big truck on a controller is really smooth i really do like it i've been actually playing this game a lot in third person more so than first person now i did change out the first person on this thing uh, to have a black interior on it and I think it looks really really nice if we go forward here make sure we have our trailer behind us and we do awesome and you look at that there's the the trailer right there somebody showed me that if you hit when you start backing up right there where the GPS is inside turns into your backup camera but we have a trailer there so that's the reason why we have that so let's go ahead and pull over here to the right hand side and we'll uh, do our pre-trip inspection and then we will change the time of day. All right, pre-trip is complete and we are ready to get going here this morning. And we need to swing wide to get out of here. We have to make a, a left and then a right, it looks like. So all the way over this way and nice and easy. It comes in handy to have your mirrors up as well. So we'll keep those running today as we're driving a bigger truck with a trailer like this. We got our indicator on. We're making a left turn here. We have to give way to anybody in this intersection. Yeah, that should be enough room to get around. But yeah, look at the phys physics right here. Physics? Yeah, that's the word. That's the word I wanted. Physics. Look at that. Very nicely done. All right. Right turn here. And this car here is going to be in. Oh, he's going to give us room. Thank you. We appreciate whenever you give us room to do our job. And they did exactly that for us. Look at that. Now, I have had some mishaps in the roundabouts. Um, and we went over that last time. I was in the roundabout and a car entered the roundabout and hit me. So it wasn't my fault per se, but I'm sure I'll make some mistakes as, like I said, I'm very rusty on my European driving from back in the day. So we have to really kind of crank that thing over to, to make that turn. All right, we're good now. So you can hear the engine sounds left here at this intersection. And we'll do some inside view action as well in a moment. And we don't need those mirrors on if we're gonna do that. Get in the right lane here, change our camera. Cause so we have working mirrors, you know, on each side, which is really helpful. That is a camera van and no, you're not getting me today, buddy. No, 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 no. We get turn here. We're getting on the road. I see a truck coming, so we're going to wait for him. You do not want to pull out in front of them and get absolutely destroyed. And now we're on the road. Wonderful. So, yeah, that's the movement of the wheel, especially going down the highway. It's really not that bad. It's really stable. And uh, like I said, I've been playing it in third person a lot, kind of in this view when I'm driving the truck so I can enjoy the scenery and get a sense of the speed. All right, watch out around this corner here. That doesn't mean I'm going to be a perfect driver in the outside view. <laughs> that is for certain. There we go. Now we're in a better spot. Yeah, once I'm in a straight line here like this, it's good. Now I've been nabbed by the speed camera that's on that bridge that you see out there in the distance a few times. And the reason why is because it goes from like 130 down to 80 kilometers an hour. Yeah, this is the exit here, but this is what I'm talking about. You'll see camera that's on the overhead of this bridge. Hello, look at the sheep out there today. Didn't see those last times it was like evening time here. 
Make sure I don't hit anything here. There we go. So I want to over control the, the wheel. If you do that, you get in trouble right there. That's the speed camera. You see it hanging over us. Get over in this lane. I'm going to go nice and easy here so we don't get a speeding ticket. But yeah, when you're coming from that direction right there, it's like, holy moly, man, they're waiting to get you. Just waiting to get you. But a beautiful Scania rolling down the road here. I can't wait till we get to be a uh, lorry driver. That's going to be nice. Although I guess you could call this a lorry driver for the most part. No engine brake or anything that I have seen in the game. That'd be cool if we had an engine brake. We are rolling now, man, because we're going to be exiting up here. Start hitting the brakes. It shares that same sound effect of the squealing brakes as the other vehicles. So that wasn't just a, a, a little minivan thing. All right, we're making a left here and then going underneath and around. And yes, you do have to back this trailer in. That I have seen so far. Let's go underneath the bridge here. There we go. And yeah, it's like, you know, it's to me, this is the thing. When you're playing a game like this, it's basically playing a video game version of back in the day if you played with Matchbox cars or Hot Wheels. You know what I mean? Like, it's just fun. And even better, we got them today. Even if you're an adult, doesn't matter. You still, I mean, if you put, still play with Matchbox and Hot Wheels, I'm not going to hold that against you. I think this look cool. This is just like an adult version of that. And, you know, you can hook up your wheel and, and, and go bananas if you want to, but third person just driving around is, you know, kind of like a, in, in Grand Theft Auto, is just like playing cars. But we have a purpose to make money. And you can't, sadly, you cannot sell any vehicles in this game. I wish you could. Then you could, uh, you know, sell something you're not going to use and use that money towards a new vehicle. That would be really nice. That's our giveaway sign there, and nobody's coming, so we have the right of way. Nice and easy around the corner, buddy. There we go. I'm getting this left lane because I'm going to need to make a left up anyway. Slow down here for the corner. So that's where I find the enjoyment out of the game. Some people don't. Make a right turn here. I had to swing for that turn and do that at the same time. We we're already in the intersection here, so we're going to go ahead and make our turn anyway. Even though that light was, whoop. oh, I thought it was going to hit that light for a second, but it's fine. <laughs> it was just uh, that angle made it look a lot closer than it was. All right, so we go around the corner and to the left. I think we're going to this, yeah, that dock right there. That'd be cool if we get back into the actual dock. I've had to back into the parking spaces here, but not the dock. And that's something I'd love to see as well. And I'll show you that as we turn in here is uh, whenever you get the job here at one of these places, yeah, we have to back in over there instead of these docks right here. Uh, whenever you take one of these jobs at one of these facilities, you saw we just kind of warp right into the forklift. I would like to be able to back up to the dock and then get into the forklift. But again, it'd be nice to have an ability to get out of the vehicle and walk around and have an avatar. Even if it's crude, I think it'd be pretty darn cool. All right, it's back all the way up here. And yeah, on a controller, it's really smooth on the truck. Like it's, it's super manageable, which is really nice. All those caravans there. Back it all the way up. And that's kind of uh, a run with a trailer and a straight truck. Now you can do just a straight truck. You don't have to have the trailer. All right, there you go. We made our money just like that. As simple as that. And automatically disconnects that guy. And I'll show you what I'm talking about with the backup camera. So you see we have the GPS there. If I back it up, there it is right there. We have the backup cam. Pretty cool. I love that. That is such a neat addition. All right, let's see what the options we have here. I think we're going to do this one. It's $9,880. just going to give us or, or whatever this uh, currency is. Um, and we have to load it with a forklift. And we're going to go north and over back to this uh, little area up there. Um, but I think that's the best one. But you see what I mean? How we just instantly warp to this thing. It would be nice 
if we could just uh, back the truck up to the dock ourselves. That's all I'm saying. I think that'd be pretty neat. And it says just to load three things. So we don't have to move the ones on the left first. You can load either way. Um, so we're going to actually do that this time. Just, you know, change it up. Just to change it up a little bit. Turn these lights on. And go forward. Be cool if we had a little beacon light. I would uh, like to see that eventually. All right. Nice and easy here. Don't want to scrape up the sides. That looks pretty good. Right there. Straight on to the back of the truck. And using forklift, load the cargo into the vehicle. Well, that's what we're doing. This needs a texture in here bad, man. Like it, it, I have to go to the outside view just so I can see what I'm doing sometimes. Cause if you're in the inside view, it's just, uh, it looks like you're kind of in the ether after a while of doing it. There we go right there. Drop it on down and let's, let's try to do this relatively quick. So I can show you that you, you don't have to take your sweet time, especially if you know what you're doing which I kind of do like this. Come on, buddy. Straight ahead and about right there. You don't have to go all the way in on the forks. Just to where you don't want to have your, po you know, your forks poking out the other end. That's how you damage freight. That's not what you want to do. Just straight on like this, bring it on down and out, back it up, do a slight lift here and straight in until we hit and then back it out. That's how I used to load the trucks, man just like that and we got two of three so far this guy's next another thing you got to be careful you know especially when you're picking up next to a wall like that with a switch on it that could spell disaster if you just smashed right through the wall i've seen it done before me i've seen so many stupid things done on forklifts by people it's it's insane you just you don't even want to know all right Make sure we don't do that. I've seen the, the forklift videos where people fall off the back of those. And yes, you could get hurt really bad, really bad. All right, now we load this side over here, this truck. Now we're getting a little more comfortable with it. We can hit the brakes a little later, back it out again, lift it up. Oh, hello, stupid. There we go all the way up next to that just like that back it out now let's do it in inside view here make it even harder for ourselves now i haven't found a way to honk the horn oh maybe it's h it's h of course it is so there you go that's pretty cool all right back up this way i think it's one for forward and two for back that might be the other way around i'm rusty on that man don't tell anybody. All right. It is going to be nighttime before you know it. I'm going to drop it on down, back it on out. Back it up. There you go. Up and straight till we hit. There we go. Just like that. Awesome. And we'll get the last one. And that will be that. That'll be a wrap. Get it? Because shrink wrap? Yeah, I know. I'll see my way out. Okay, there we go. And to fix this, you know, I was kind of angle there. I'll just drop it down and then, then you can do it. And the best way to do it is just go forward until it hits the, the mast there like that. That works pretty well. Yeah, I'm not going to do OSHA beeps today. I'm sorry. And we'll do the outside view for the last one. Why not? Bring it on in here. Like that. Bring it on down. Back up. Back up, buddy. There you go. Up. Forward. And I would use the side shift right there, but we don't have a side shift. All right, cool. And that's that. Lights off. And we're done. Sweet. We'll do a night ride on this one so you can see what the uh, lighting is like on this truck. Because it's actually really nice at night. I will say that. We'll back up to this trailer. And we'll use the inside view because we have our little backup camera. Here's the what the truck looks like at night. Looks pretty darn cool. We got our mirrors here as well, which is going to help us get right into position. You kind of see it right there. How close you're getting to it. There we go. Follow the navigation to transport the cargo. Thought you'd never ask. We'll keep our four ways on as we leave the yard here, but we're going out to the right. 
and that will be that. Pretty darn cool, man. I do love the fact that we can load our own trucks. To me, that's a huge win. Huge, huge win. And let's see if uh, we can make this to our destination without screwing up and damaging the cargo. You see how fragile certain cargo loads are. I don't think this one was, even though we do see that on the HUD down there. Maybe we ended up getting one. I was looking at the amount of money, you know, we're going to make on the run rather than anything else. There's no pedestrians. I haven't seen any pedestrians in the game yet. It is going to look a little. Oh my God. They came flying through there. I should have looked to the right. Um, I was too busy to talk about this. That'll look a little familiar right there. Cause look, that's where we started last time. We've come full circle now. Yeah, this little red car shot out of there, man. He was flying down the road. The left turn here. Got to be a little more careful here because the AI is, they're rambunctious, man. They will, they'll get you. They get you every time. The left turn here. We're going to be going to the left this time though. We're not going across the bridge today. All right. We got our indicator on. We got priority. Let's go through the intersection and we will get on our way here into the night, driving through the nights. Watch for traffic here. I don't see anybody on the road. We're good. There we go. Yeah, the, the truck sounds are not that bad. I'm actually pretty okay with it. All right, we have to give way here. That's what that sign means. And I don't see anybody coming. I think we're good. Get on the road. Yes, we are. All right, awesome. Turn that blinker off. Is that change in the sound when we go into a tunnel? I like that. Beautiful. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this. Like I said, dealer simulator um, was a lot of fun. I'll probably continue this unless I get a new vehicle unlocked and I want to show it off. Um, I will do that on the five minute live channel. If you want to check that out, it's always linked in the description below. And uh, from there, I will be doing both dealer simulator and this when I'm grinding for money, doing the money grind. Love that dat moon. Okay. You, you're just going to get on the highway. Okay, cool. Even though you had a, you know, giveaway, it doesn't matter. It only matters to us, not to them. You know, it's the way it goes. Uh, but uh, OCRP will be returning. I'll be doing some more OCRP stuff. Got some things in the works there, including a what's new in OCRP. I was hoping to have a final couple things before I made that video, but I don't know if it's going to happen in time. And we have two days until the new Roxwood releases, which is going to be a lot of fun. They, they put a lot of work into this new update. The new Roxwood update. All right, we're exiting here. This is our exit. And yes, this game is on console. Like I said, um, you know, to be able to play this on a controller would be really, really cool. Just sitting on the couch. You can totally do it. And it's kind of your only big option when it comes to a trucking sim like this, because there was you, you stopping. Holy mo dude. I, I thought he was going to hit us for sure. Um, the other game we played that looks similar to this is on the road, I think. And I haven't checked that one out in a while, so I'm not even sure what the status of that one is. But yes, this is kind of your only option. If you want a truck and sim. All right, so we need to make a left turn here and we're going to enter the roundabout after these cars because he's in the roundabout. He has right away. He's good. Okay. This guy is coming through as well. We're all right there. We need to come all the way around this way. Now, this guy here, that's heading towards us. He might, he should, yeah, give us room, which they are. All right. There's our indicator to get out of the roundabout, just like that. And that's pretty much how you're supposed to do it. And they're supposed to yield to you, but give way. Whatever you want to call it. Man, we are going to be up here in the mountains today. 
for this delivery. But you can see it's totally manageable on a controller. What can I say? All right, around this way. Easy, buddy, easy. I'm enjoying each unlock in the game. I hope they add more vehicles. And I haven't seen any of the other stuff, like with the lorry driving, especially uh, hauling cars. I wonder how that's going to work, if you have to load them yourself or if, you know, it's automatically done for you. That'll be interesting to see. Look at this beautiful morning here. Slow down for this. Here we have another roundabout. We're going straight through here. So this is just going to be a man managing. Oh my God. That dude flew in there. The little Peugeot just shot in there. That's what it looked like. I'm in the roundabout. We're almost to our destination. I have a feeling. Careful, careful. There we go. See, once I can find the smooth spot in the stick, then it uh, it's actually pretty easy to maintain these angles of steering on a tight road like this. Just watch our mirror on the right side. So we're going to drop that thing off the side of the road. Same thing over here. Manage our brakes. Rest, relax, regenerate. And we have another camera van up here. All right, we'll go back to our outside view action here. It doesn't sound like the sound changes from the inside to the outside on this, this particular truck. It's all the same. I'm sure I'll have it turned down in post because I mean, sometimes it can be really, really, really loud. All right, buddy. We made it to our little town. This will look familiar as well. We we drove out of this spot at night last time we played. We're going straight this time. Here are the air brakes there. That's the camera right there. And we don't have any signs there, so we do have right away. This is kind of weird how it just ends onto this road. And it's not a one-way street like you would think. You have to get into this to get over here. I guess. I don't know how that works. It's kind of strange in this lane here. And then we're pulling into where that truck is, I think. Yeah, we are. Okay. So actually I have to get back over here now. Cause I thought this was a one way street and then I saw cars driving down it and I was confused by that. Yeah, we're going up here to the right. Um, okay. Yep. Just like this. Crank it all the way over, just like that, buddy. Oh, that was perfect. It's like I've done this once or twice. All right, four ways are on, and where do they want it back there? Ooh, that's gonna be a little more tricky of a spot to drop. But actually, I bet you can go behind the building. I'm not gonna do it per se, but uh, we're gonna do it this way instead. Like this. Get real close to the orange shipping container. Let the, the trailer just naturally go back. That's another thing that I've noticed in the physics with this game is that with trailers, they do the natural turn when you just back straight up. That is really, really cool. It's a small, small detail, but an, a necessary one as for certain. All right, we're cranking that thing all the way there around these poles and stuff. We're good let it naturally walk itself into that green spot. So looking okay here. Now we start bringing the nose of our truck to the left. Oh, just like that. They're happy with it. Okay. Well, I would like a little more time with that. Yeah. It automatically disconnects you and you're just kind of off to the races once again. But there you go, folks. That is a look at loading your own cargo in one of these bad boys. Pretty darn cool. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.